Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale, and today we are going to make festive banners. My banners for Halloween, so I decided to use the Halloween letters from my Spooky Delight collection. If you would like to check out my shop, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so now we're going to pick out our cream paper colors, and I'm using pink, blue, and lavender. And my crepe paper rosette is going to be a full-size one. When you're making a rosette, it's kind of like a flattened accordion and on one side it's more spread out and then on the inside it overlaps a lot. To keep the rosette in place, I always keep a set of fingers on my rosette to keep everything in place. So I just kind of alternate from my right to my left to my right to my left. And I just smooth it out while I'm rotating my rosette. Now, if this sounds confusing, I have a more in-depth tutorial and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And then at the end, I make sure and do a few extra ruffles. And since it's a larger rosette, I'm using two staples. And uh, there you go. Next, we're going to create a different style rosette and this one is going to be made with paper. And you'll need a 11 by eight and a half piece of paper and you're going to score at every quarter inch. These are the score lines that are going to be folded and they determine the height of your rosette. After you reach the end, you're going to rotate your paper. The next set of score lines will determine how wide you would like your rosette. And just remember, whatever you choose, it will be doubled. And if you don't wanna use your scoreboard on this and just go straight to cutting it, that's fine too. I just didn't want to use my cutting board and just use my scissors. It was one and one fourth inches and that will be doubled, so it'll be two and a half. When my rosette is complete, I use my scissors to cut it out and now I want a fun edge. You can use a border punch or wavy scissors or you can just leave it plain. Next you're going to fold on all of the creases. So this will be every quarter inch and just make it nice and crisp. Okay, so there you go. It looks like a little accordion. Now for the end pieces, you don't want it to look like two mountains. You want one to go up and one to go down. So you're just going to cut one of the sides so that it looks like one is going downhill and one is going uphill. So like going down the stairs and up the stairs. <laughs> and since this one has a decorative edge, I snipped one of the decorative edges where it's going to be glued so that that pattern doesn't overlap. Then you're just going to take a scrap piece of paper. It doesn't have to be a circle or anything because it's not going to show. And you're just going to add glue to the back of your rosette and put your scrap piece of paper on it to hold it in place. Alright, then we're going to add some eyelash trim and this can usually be found in the aisle with all of the yarn and I'm just gluing it where the paper's solid so that it'll peek behind the decorative pattern and this doesn't have to be perfect. And be careful not to burn yourself. Then you're going to take your paper rosette with the eyelash trim and hot glue it to your crepe paper rosette. Then I'm using foam tape, and this is by Scotch. And place that underneath my circle medallion with the letter on it in the center of all my rosettes. All right, so next we're going to create our banner shape. It doesn't have to be this shape. It can be a triangle, whatever you choose, maybe a circle. <laughs> and this is just a rough rectangle. And then I'm going to get my guillotine paper cutter and smooth out the sides and then fold it in half, cut out a little triangle. And that is my banner shape. And you can use whatever paper you want. I'm using white cardstock 
because I want to create my own background paper. So I'm using my template and I can get about three on here and I'll use my scrap paper for something else later on. And for my background, I want to use circles. You don't need a stencil. I just had it on my desk from a mixed media project. So I was like, okay, this will be easy. <laughs> I'm using a red pencil because it doesn't show as much with acrylic paint. And my favorite colors, try to pick colors that match my grape paper. And the pink was just a little bit too loud for me, so I toned it down with a little bit of white. And just paint your circles or triangles, whatever you wanted to use. You also don't have to use acrylic paint. You can use markers, pattern paper, whatever you want. And I thought the background needed just a little bit more, so I took a star stamp by Heidi Swap, and I just stamped them randomly all over the banner. Now, if you don't have a star stamp, you can always just create it with a marker. I just really like this shape. <laughs> and after all the paints dry, I wanted to add a little bit of black outline. Well, it's not really an outline because it's within the circle. But just to define the circle more, so I just use my micron pen. And I really like microns on acrylic paint. It works really well. And then you're just going to cut out your banners. Next, we're going to create that decorative crepe paper trim. For mine, I'm using the three colors that I used on the crepe paper rosettes. And I'm going to mix them. And you'll need three times the length of the tops of your banner. Then I used heavy duty thread. And if you don't have that type of thread, you can always use regular thread and double it. And then you'll add a knot on the bottom. And your thread should be longer than your crepe paper. Then you'll just take your needle and your thread and do a running stitch so you just go in and out in and out through the thread down the center and try to keep your the width of your stitches about the same all right so once you reach the end you're going to flatten out your crepe paper and take your scissors and you're just going to do some snips all the way down and try to keep them about the same you can make them thin or wide I prefer about a quarter of an inch for mine and don't cut through the center that's very important then you'll flip it or rotate it and do the same thing to the other side and after you're done making your snips you're going to create the ruffle and then you'll take some terrifically tacky tape or red tape and add a piece to the top corners on the front and the back. This is optional, but it helps me to get everything in place. And you'll just stick it on there. I try to put the center line on the tape. And then go on the other side and do the same thing. And you might have to adjust the thread to make it more flat and then you're going to take your stapler and staple on the two corners. I use the running stitch line as a guide then you're going to staple right in the center and then in between the center staple and the outer staples. So everything's in place and then you're just going to create your fun fringe so you might have to do a few single ones, like separate it, and then you can go back and kind of do more of a bunchy look with the rest of it. Take your time because crepe paper is kind of delicate. All right, then you're going to take your hot glue gun and glue your rosette pieces to your banner. We're going to punch holes for our ribbon and I like to punch it toward the top underneath the crepe paper. 
And here's a nice little trick. You can add a little bit of washi to help reinforce the paper so that it doesn't rip if you're using thinner paper. Okay, and I'm using the same eyelash trim that I used on the paper rosettes. I used a small hole punch, so I ended up using a needle to help me feed the thread or the string through the holes. And if you're using a needle and eyelash trim, I recommend only leaving a very tiny tail so it doesn't get knotted. All right, the order that I feed my string through the banner is from the front to the back and the back to the front. And I repeat that for all the banner pieces. And I try to keep about an inch or an inch and a quarter between all the banner pieces. Okay, so that is one way to make a festive banner. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you create a banner, please tag me on Instagram at Little Hot Tamale. Okay, so I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!